Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to yet another episode of the Ultimate Second Encounter. And this is the medieval period and the second level, the Haunted Woods. But before be we begin, I would like to apologize because I took a one week break because I was feeling a bit well. I need a little bit of relaxation, but now hopefully we are back we, with no more setbacks. And let's begin, shall we? And today we are in multiplayer mode for this one. Yeah. I am not looking particularly forward to this one simply because, I'm not gonna lie, this is like the entire level. And I'm not joking, this fog is the entire thing. The entire map is in this dense fog. And the trouble is, with this first area, you have to collect a few keys before you can continue on this one. Namely, I think it was crosses of some kind. And I'm not gonna lie, you can spend like, no joke, if you don't know where the things are, you can spend literally a lot of time in here. And if by any small chance the the creator of this uh, mod is watching sometimes please do something about the fog because half the time I don't know where I'm going especially in the first area some guidelines or something to help out in this situation because if you don't know where the things are you can be like here forever yeah also there is gonna be a lot of clears for this area well oh, oh well we got one of the keys Ugh. literally any sort of help will be useful in, in pathway in the form of pills or something I don't know just Just something, please! Uh, where am I? Oh! And minor warning, there are gonna be clears that are, well... more silent than the usual clears. And you will know what I'm talking about in hopefully not long. I do remember one of the keys being in this graveyard, I think. seem to be fine for now yeah, I can only see the Sun which is not a lot um, uh oh ouch yeah be careful of the statues I did mention them last episode so yeah they're tough but they only have melee and this is the silent skeleton I was talking about. Simply because he has no sound effects and you... and he can creep on you and deal quite a lot of damage on you. So I would suggest you go f for third person mode for this one. Simply because it makes s spotting them easier. I literally have no idea where I'm going in this fog. Where? Yeah, also the trees are a bit weird. I mean, they are s solid for you, but for your projectiles, not so much. Mm. 
And do remember, regular clears will throw bolas. The silent clears won't throw anything. Simply because they don't have one. Ouch. Even on normal mode, these guys are annoying. I can't imagine them be on serious. Actually, no, I can't imagine them, and they're gonna be quite more deadly than this. Ouch. Well, wait, that didn't even hit me, and I said ouch. What hit... what threw that? Oh, it's a flying... It's a flying guy. I wonder if there was one more statue to collect key from. Oh, and before I forget, you do have a sort of a basement to go in to collect one key, so... I do hope it's this one, if and I'm not mistaken. There should be a little... Oh, yep, indeed. But before that, I am gonna kill the guys outside before I go in the basement. And for the basement, it's rather... well... Nope. And nope. And nope. And... Absolutely not. Ouch. Um, bunch of, well, graves. Wait, is something alive in here? I only see... Oh. Yeah, ouch, yeah, ouch. Go away! Now what? Uh-oh, that's... Oh yeah, that's a regular demon, all right. Catacombs, catacombs, catacombs. And I do hope this is the last key, so I can move on, otherwise it's gonna be a little bit of a snooze fest. If I have to go more in the fog. Behind this statue over here. Even in here it's foggy. Ouch! Oh no. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, boy. Grab a little health, and I hope the key is... over there. I'm gonna grab the armor, just in case. Is there anything in here? Nope. I do like I do like the the thing it's going for, but the minus side it's the that I already said it. I know, but the fog it's way too much. I get that it's the creators trying this place to be haunted, but it. I'm sorry, but it comes off as too hard to navigate through. Especially if you don't know where what where you're supposed to go. If you do not want to remove the fog, then maybe just some sort of something to help you out in navigating in from in this place. Simply because well it's Well you missed. As I was saying, it's just it's too much the fog is way too much 
Nope, 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 having any of that nonsense you're trying to do. The first time I did this, I stuck to the walls of this area to try and find everything. And it took me a little bit a bit of while. Boom. And I hope I got all the keys. If not, I'm uh, gonna have to go back and search for the last key I need. And trying to light your way with the flamethrower doesn't work either. So you're kind of just stuck trying to navigate your way out of here. And it's entirely possible for you to end up in the... On the... What's its name? On the entrance instead of the exit. I hope you're the exit. Oh no. I may have ended up where I began simply because I can't tell at all. Or I do need one more key. Probably I need one more key. Regular clears I can deal with, but the silent ones are, not gonna lie, problematic. Uh, and I'm not gonna blame you if you want to skip this part or the entire episode at all. Simply because it's, well, not great for me, either. And I imagine this episode is gonna get less views anyway. Have I been here? Oh wait, I can't tell because... Because I don't know where in blinking blue blazes I am and right now I mean you can try to go on the road but for me that didn't help at all actually oh I saw you in the last possible second I could have this is this the graveyard somewhere or did I pass that already And the sad part is I can't edit that out either because I don't know how. Did I hear a clear or my own footsteps? Please tell me I haven't been here. It's like... Navigating your way through very, very dark room. And you're using your pinky finger on your foot to locate the, the furniture in the room. That's kind, kind of how I'm feeling right now toward this first area. I'm just hoping I... Uh, I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty... Not good. <sighs> not gonna lie. Oh, I've definitely been here. This is the graveyard. Now the question is, where is the last key? And where did I miss it? Where in blinking blue blazes? Oh, and yeah, there has been a new video video in Crow Team's channel, 
to signify the starting of the countdown toward the Serious Sam 4. This is where I picked up the last thing. Oh, well, well, ironically, I have been on this statue unless the thing is behind it. But I don't think so. Nope. Empty statue. Please tell me I have not missed it. Probably I have missed it. This is the wall. What is this? The entrance? Or probably it's the... Yeah, this is the basement thing. And I have no idea where the last key is in this mess. Oh, I see. Is well, I can't see even that f that far in front of my nose, to be honest. Oh. Oh, thank God! I finally found it. And with a backpack, even. Not that it matters a whole lot in here oh the front gate is unlocked well thank god because because I need to leave this place a little health potion Now I have to figure out where the damn exit is. But that was... mildly... uncomfortable? I mean, I've seen worse. Way, way worse. But yeah, like I said a million times, the biggest problem is the fog. And... As we all know, in the Serious Sam games, you need to see what is trying to kill you, because the ending is not gonna be great if you don't know what killed you. Especially if it's 10,000 monsters. Please tell me you're the door. Nope. You're not the door I need, probably because it's the starting door, is it? I think it is. Again, I can't tell because um, it's way too foggy. And probably the TODR of the... of the... Of the last 10 minutes or 15, I don't know how much time has passed, is Sirius Alec complaining about the fog? This is again the statue. Maybe I should listen to my own advice and keep to the walls of the map. Maybe eventually I will find the, the exit. And not gonna lie, the most of the time you're relying on sound to actually kill anyone in here. Once you learn, it's just second nature because most of the monsters have very distinct distinct sounds that they make when they are just lying in wait or in the fight most pro appropriate example I can do is with the clears and the biomax well and with the bowls
there is probably a secret behind that graveyard, but I'm not gonna bar because I am wasting time anyway. Please tell me that is the darn exit and not the basement again. Because I feel I've already passed the basement at least three times. And if you are the exit, hooray for me. If not, well... Woo! Thank God! We finally found the exit. Now all I have to do is walk forward. Simply because the annoying part is pretty much over at this point. And no use checking for secrets here because there aren't any. Now it gets a little bit easier. Simply because there are a bit of lakes in here. Oh yeah, this way, as you are hearing, bowls. And it's good that they are making trails of smoke, simply because, well, it's the only thing that will help Yak to distinguish them from the far away f in this fog. Wait the wait just wait out the way of the wave of bulls while you're disposing of them. Simply because I think around the corner there is several biomex. And you need to uh, have nothing bothering you while you're trying to kill the biomex. I don't think there's anything that way, so I'm gonna continue on this way. And I do believe there are sev uh, uh, a few things in some of the lakes. Yep, there they are! I don't know how much! Well, at least four? No, it, maybe it's... I think maybe it's five. Yep, it's most definitely five of them. That's several of you disposed already. That's not be the way forward. Is this something in this lake? Usually, probably in some of the lakes, there will be ammo more so than anything else. I believe this is where I'm supposed to be going. Depending on how long I take, I may do another episode. So, what now? Am I just gonna walk forward? Well, I see more supplies. I know I'm doing it with infinite ammo, but... Yeah, I'm just... I... I'm not gonna lie, I dread this episode more than anything else. Simply because of the... Fuck! I... And to be honest, in that fog, I can't see, barely, I can barely see those flying menaces in the sky. 
and you can get very easily killed by some of them. Thank God they're not stopping. Stop shooting. Oh, some of them even are closing in. Thanks a lot, guys. At least I can shoot, see, and shoot ya. Instead of just trying to shoot blindly at the sky. And hope I land some of the bullets. I know it's useless to ask, but how do these things fly? Maybe it's magic. Simply because I don't see anything to help them fly on the wings. Anyone else? Anyone else beside that? question is, am I going back, or am I going forward in this case? Uh, let's see. It seems I'm going back, since this door ain't opening. So the question is, where am I supposed to go, if not there? And it's a bit useless for me to be looking up. What in fresh brew? Oh boy. What? Oh, you look like a... a never mind. Just... Just go away, lady! I have enough problems as it is. Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh, you're two! Not just one! Just go away! Um, health armor? I know I'm... I'm in multiplayer mode and supposedly shouldn't give a damn, but... Just one of you die, so I can worry about less. By my calculations, I should be totally out of bullets right now. this way, simply because I think I went from there and it should be here. Please tell me I'm right. Nope. Absolutely not. Let's get out of this crazy pop stand. I think that is the door, finally. Let's get out of these woods. And you should be the exit. Yup. As, as always, thank you very much for watching. And I hope you like and subscribe. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the videos. And I will see you in the next one. See ya.